Welcome to Eye on Crypto, where we delve into the crypto flow and share the insights you need to know. Bitcoin is the most decentralized, secure, and durable blockchain. However, in our previous video we discussed how BRC20 tokens caused Bitcoin transaction prices to skyrocket and clogged up the network. Could it be that Bitcoin needs a layer 2 solution to help resolve this similar to what Ethereum has? BTC is a unique, widely held asset and the Bitcoin blockchain is the best final settlement layer for transactions. Applications that want to maximize decentralization and durability should use BTC as their asset and perform final settlement on the Bitcoin blockchain. However, to preserve its valuable properties, the Bitcoin blockchain is, by design, slow, minimal, and resistant to change. For example, it does not natively provide fully expressive smart contracts or fast performance, so sophisticated applications cannot be built directly on it. Therefore, BTC remains a passive asset and most applications are instead built on Ethereum and other Layer 1 L1, blockchains that have less powerful native assets than BTC. Bitcoin layers extend the functionality and improve the performance of Bitcoin without changing the Bitcoin L1. Examples include fast payments, lightning, and general smart contracts, stacks and RSK. Bitcoin layers enable sophisticated applications that require fully expressive smart contracts, high performance, or greater privacy. Stacks is a Bitcoin layer for smart contracts. It enables smart contracts and decentralized applications to trustlessly use Bitcoin as an asset and settle transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain. The goal of the Stacks layer is to grow the Bitcoin economy, by turning BTC into a productive rather than passive asset, and by enabling various decentralized applications. The initial version of Stacks launched in early 2021. Stacks layer makes Bitcoin a fully programmable asset in a trustless manner. The Stacks layer for smart contracts has the following innovations that make it unique. Secured by the entire hash power of Bitcoin, Bitcoin finality. Trust minimized Bitcoin peg mechanism, right to Bitcoin. Atomic BTC swaps and assets owned by BTC addresses. Clarity language for safe, decidable smart contracts. Knowledge of full Bitcoin state, read from Bitcoin. Scalable, fast transactions that settle on Bitcoin. The Stacks Bitcoin layer project has followed the path of legal compliance with public disclosures and transparency, along with an explicit focus on decentralization. STX was distributed to the public through the first ever SEC qualified token offering in US history. The project explicitly decentralized before the Stacks mainnet launch in Jan 2021. Currently, more than 30 independent entities are working in the decentralized ecosystem. Unlike RSK and Liquid, Stacks also has its own native asset, STX. The Stacks layer's native token, STX, is essential to its proof of transfer consensus, POX. STX is needed for incentivizing Stacks miners to maintain the Stacks layer global ledger outside of the Bitcoin L1. STX is not merely a governance or speculative token, but it is central to the consensus mechanism of the Stacks Bitcoin layer. Despite having its own native asset, the Stacks layer helps grow Bitcoin rather than compete with it. STX is listed on many popular exchanges including Binance and Coinbase. At the time of making this video STX is trading at 65 cents and ranked number 54 on CoinGecko.com with a market cap of $886 million, a fully diluted market cap valuation of $1,170,000,000. The max supply is $1,818,000,000 with a little over 75% already in circulation. STX is currently down 80% from its all-time high. In 2022 the project Alex is building the first functional BRC20 DEX and launched a mainnet bringing an IDO, a full DEX and yield farming option to STX. Alex also recently tweeted amid the surging Bitcoin fees. Despite the fees, Stacks operates smoothly. This is because transactions are aggregated and settled collectively, allowing the group to afford a higher gas fee. It's the beauty of L2 solutions. Alex is also another token to keep an eye on, as they are building financial infrastructure on Bitcoin through Stacks. 
STX was the first ever SEC qualified token offering in US history. Blockstack became the first company to receive approval from the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC to sell digital tokens known as STACKS STX in an initial coin offering ICO in 2019. Under the SEC's regulation A+ exemption, Blockstack's IPO raised $23 million. Manib Ali and Ryan Shea started the Stacks STX USD project, initially called Blockstack, as a blockchain layer for Bitcoin. Stacks has a proprietary smart contract language designed for its blockchain. While smart contract developers encode business logic on the Ethereum blockchain using the Solidity smart contract language, Web3 developers building on Stacks use Clarity. Stacks says that in designing Clarity, it looked at the flaws and vulnerabilities of existing smart contract languages like Solidity. Drawing from the lessons learned from common Solidity exploits, Clarity was built to be secure by design. An interpreted language like Clarity maintains its high-level, human-readable format, making verifying what a smart contract is easy. NFTs are tradable on Stacks NFT marketplaces. The popular Stacks NFT marketplaces are Gamma, Byzantium, Stacks Art, and Super Fandom. Some of Stacks NFT's marketplaces offer cross-chain features. A blockchain network that offers NFT, DeFi, and smart contract capabilities can prove its worthiness by the number of real-world applications that have been built on its blockchain. As well as some of the previously mentioned projects such as Alex DeFi apps, numerous other projects are building on Stacks. From wallets, tools, social communities, chat consoles and more. NFTs on the Stacks blockchain are generally called Bitcoin NFTs. Some popular Bitcoin NFT collections include Bitcoin Monkeys, Megapont Ape Club, and Bell's Witches. DeFi functionalities such as lending and the launch of tokens have been made available on the Bitcoin network, thanks to Stacks Layer 2 solution. StackSwap is a Stacks-based DeFi platform that enables users to exchange tokens, mint and trade NFTs, and perform crypto lending on the Bitcoin network. Stacks has also introduced Web3 domain names to Bitcoin. Like Ethereum name service, Stacks BTC domain enables users to encapsulate their Web3 identity into a simple, easily readable address format. In summary, there are different types of protocols that work alongside Bitcoin, called Layer 2 protocols. One protocol that stands out is Stacks. While many other protocols focus on making Bitcoin faster and able to handle more transactions, Stacks takes a different approach. It focuses on enabling advanced features on top of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the most well-known and widely used blockchain network. When people talk about investing in cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is usually their first choice, whether they are regular investors or big institutions. Stacks is unique because it uses Bitcoin as its main foundation. This means that Stacks builds on top of the existing Bitcoin network, benefiting from its popularity and security. As more and more people start using cryptocurrencies, and big institutional investors include Bitcoin in their investment portfolios, the importance of features like tokenizing assets, creating NFTs, and enabling decentralized finance on the Bitcoin network will become clear. Stacks has already started an exciting journey to unlock the full potential of Bitcoin by providing these features. In simple terms, Stacks is like a special tool that adds cool features to Bitcoin, which is already super popular. This is important because as more people get into cryptocurrencies, they'll want to do more things with Bitcoin, like creating unique digital items or using it for financial services. Stacks is making all of that possible. The information we have researched and provided is not financial advice. Always do your own research if you are thinking of investing in any of the crypto projects we mention. Remember the cryptocurrency market is volatile and prices can go up and down very quickly. The cryptocurrency market is also largely under-regulated and there may be no recourse for loss of transactions. With that said, cryptocurrency also has the potential to empower individuals and promote financial inclusion on a global scale and financial freedom. Thanks for watching, we hope you got value from this video. Don't forget to be bullish on the like button. Subscribe for updates. Keep your eye on crypto, and we, will see you, on the next one.